we're back with another one of those videos where I can say thank you to the names that have come up on my list. Welcome to an episode of Blooms for You. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. There's lots to see and many, many people to thank. I would like to open up and say that my dendrobium berry odor blooms for everybody not mentioned in this video today and to thank everybody even though you may not have been mentioned for watching the video it supports the channel immensely if you're enjoying the blooms for you episodes don't hesitate to hit that like button don't wait for the rest of the video just hit that like button i would so appreciate that also supports the channel and if you have not subscribed let me tell you what is going on here and why it would be a good idea to subscribe not only do i dedicate my blooms to everybody that i can see appearing in the comments they go on a list anybody that i can see subscribing goes on that list but also private accounts that i cannot see at least in the intro and the outro you know that you are appreciated with a blooming of an orchid that also includes you giving me an opportunity to just stop for a moment with the regular content take a deep breath and reflect on why i'm here i'm here because you watch my videos without you watching my videos and without you commenting on the videos yes i am showing my orchid hobby that my love and my passion but i love the dialogue many many times i'm here with a monologue so when it comes to blooms for you I do feel like I'm really speaking to the people whose names have come up on the list. Also, it gives me an opportunity to show my appreciation for the Orchid Ninjas. That is what members are called here on Ninja Orchids. If you have not yet made up your mind whether you want to become an Orchid Ninja, may I encourage you to have a look-see to sign up for a membership. There's a lot going on in the background as well. Videos that do not make it into the public eye. So we're a great group of people back there. There's a lot of support and it would be wonderful to welcome you into that part of the channel as well. Appease your curiosity. I don't think you'll be disappointed. But thank you to all the current Orchid Ninjas. Some of you may have an idea how much I appreciate your support. Some of you may not know exactly what it means to me to have you support the channel in the way that you do. Let me try and put it into perspective. No, forget it. I don't want this to be about me, but know that your support is appreciated. Your Lady Chatterley is not in bloom. We probably won't have such a spectacular bloom as we did last year. She lost a spike, but she is still alive and is starting on a new leaf. So fingers crossed that she came through the winter okay. Meanwhile, Dendrobium Berry Oda. Know that this orchid is a wonderful fragrant orchid that invites the spring even though the winter tries to hold on when this orchid blooms <laughs> when this orchid starts to push spikes it's almost uplifting it's like <gasps> we're almost done we're almost through the worst of it so when this orchid blooms i am always in a much much better frame of mind this is footage from when she bloomed in 2023. We will be doing recaps, but the date of all the recap blooming will be up when the clips come up. I do not waste my blooms, regardless of when they bloomed and the fact I couldn't get around to filming at the exact time when the orchid was in bloom. So watch out for those dates, not to be confused with the fact that these orchids are now in bloom here in Southern Spain. Anyway, welcome to the patio. We have some people to thank. Let's have a look, see as to what was in bloom back then, whose names have come up, and maybe there is also a bloom or two that is currently in bloom. An orchid, when you look at the blooms, that reminds me of the finest, finest porcelain china is my Caulathrum by Cornutum. Very special orchid because I got this orchid from the orchid room back in the day before Brexit stopped all the wonderful orchid swapping that we could do back in the day. So this very special orchid, now in bloom with two blooms, as a massive thank you for your support on my channel, these blooms are for Zizi J. Lam and Natalie Esparza. Thank you to the two of you very, very much for your support on my channel. Now, normally when an orchid blooms smaller blooms, I say two blooms, three blooms per name. 
However, she is a very special orchid and she has bloomed for me this year in 2023, which she didn't do last year. She tried, but the buds blasted. So this is a very highlight orchid and when she forms her spike or gets ready to bloom, yeah, my light levels are a little bit lower than her preference. So my bloom count is also limited. She could easily do five blooms. I think one year when she first came to me, I had five blooms, maybe four, but definitely she's capable of more than just two blooms. But you know what? I am grateful for these two blooms. I'm grateful that the buds held on for us. And for that reason, two names are applied to this dedication. Zizi J. Lam and Natalie Esparza. Thank you so, so much for your support on my channel. Another little detail about this orchid is her fragrance. Do not be fooled by the delicate looking blooms. They're pretty sturdy. That marvelous, marvelous lip is something to die for, I think. It is just astounding, the detail, the precision of everything that is going on in there. And then you look at the petals and sepals, and it's like they have a little bit of a line, a little bit of a deviation from the solid white. All the characteristics of the blooms of this orchid, they just sort of come together and give you that delicacy about them. But their fragrance? Not that they will knock you out of the park, but you have to get close to the blooms. She has a very mild vanilla ice cream, I would say, fragrance. It is not intense, but definitely something to write home about. Bourbon vanilla ice cream. Let's not just say any old vanilla ice cream, because the fragrance truly is a little notch up from plain old vanilla ice cream. This is good stuff. And the reason I say ice cream is because it's not a warm fragrance. Vanilla is sort of a warmish fragrant spice, but it has a coolness about it and a creamy note at the end. It's, it's divine is all I can say. For a species orchid like this, I find her pretty easy to grow if I only had the right light levels. And we have to address this orchid this year in 2023. See or see, she needs a new pot. In the meantime, though, for the next two and a half weeks, I've got these blooms around. And every time I look at them, I shall remember ZZJ Lam and Natalia Esparza and take a mental note of how grateful I am for your support. I hope you're doing well in your part of the world. My Calathrum by Cornuton, she blooms for you. Lorraine Smith. Yes, I have several blooms on my Rothara Yokosuka story, but I hope that the fact I have one pristine bloom plus the addition of color from other blooms that aren't just so perfect, I hope that you will accept my thank you for your support on my channel via the blooms, even though only one is perfect. I think if you step back a little bit further, the blooms just look cute, spring-like, cheerful and all that fun stuff it's only when you get a little bit closer can you tell yeah something's not quite right with a couple of the blooms anyway lorraine smith my rothara yokosuka story she bloomed for you there was not enough light influence for her to really push out perfection on all three blooms however my goodness when you look at the color i just can't get over the color i can't get over the shape of the blooms i think it is just something it's the colors you're looking forward to as you're coming out of winter. You just want that bright, fresh and sparkle in your face again. It's sunny, it's cheerful. Everything else that the winter months aren't really, well, once you get past Christmas. <laughs> then January, February, it's like, ah, uh, you know, you're pining for spring and these blooms just do exactly that for me. They uplift. So Lorraine Smith, I didn't want to miss out saying thank you to you via my very colorful Rothara Yokosuka story. Even though only one bloom is perfection, I hope the entire whole picture is still acceptable as a thank you to you for being here. Looking back, Lorraine Smith, my Rothara Yokosuka story, she bloomed for you. I have no idea when this dedication is going to air, but it is very, very clear that this orchid is not currently in bloom. <laughs> this is my Fred Clark Yara After Dark Black Pearl that bloomed in January, late December, January, all the way through into February. And this orchid bloomed for Estrella Busion, Lida Shepard, Cass Smurthwaite, Claudia Minerva, MC Bene Cortar, Jack Frost, 
Sherry's Orchid Garden, Flower Friend, Jay Wash Second, and Bobcat Johnson. So yes, I am playing catch up. It is very obvious that this clip is not real time, <laughs> but I am not. I am not going to say, oh well, I didn't get around to filming a dedication. That is just not happening, not with any of my blooms, and especially not with the After Dark Black Pearl, because look at this. How can you not? <laughs> Never mind if it's late. I still have that gorgeous cinnamon ginger cookie spice fragrance in my nose. I will never ever get enough of that fragrance and I don't need to be seeing the blooms and smelling the fragrance in real time to be able to tell you it is delicious. <laughs> I don't think that these blooms are edible, you might want to try, but I'm not sure that the palette and the flavor is going to give off the fragrance that entices the nose so much, so yeah. When she bloomed, we had a little bit of a stunted spike, and one spike that was normal with up to 20 blooms, but still, the fact that she bloomed for me is insane. I am so grateful for any blooms, and I'm extremely grateful for orchids that bloom during a time of year when you're kind of wondering, why are you growing orchids, especially in my climate? It gets a little bit rough from the months of November through to end of March, mid-April. I really struggle <laughs> trying to keep my orchids safe. And then you see something like this, and it is a constant reminder, this is what you're doing it for. And also because it gives me the opportunity to dedicate blooms like these to everyone that supports the channel as the names appear on my list. And the names, I shall repeat them once again because special, special, thank you, thank you for your support on my channel. Estrella Busion, Lida Shepard, Cass Smurthwaite, Claudia Minerva, MC Bene Cortar, Jack Frost, Sherry's Orchid Garden, Flower Friend, Jay Wash Second, and Bobcat Johnson. I didn't break a spike, I didn't get any bud blast. The bloom count is what it was, probably about 35 blooms in total. I managed to get this orchid to bloom. <laughs> all of that warrants a dedication. So thank you so much to all of you for your support on my channel. You're so appreciated. An orchid that bloomed. Yeah, I know. I'm playing catch up. An orchid that bloomed in end of December, beginning of January, and then had a second flush around February is my Dendrobium Pocket Lover. Incredible. This orchid managed to bloom in my conditions during the winter. I am blown away. And the names that came up are Jenny Zabriel C, Andrea Caron, Hormone Wholesale Market, and Debbie Lee D. This little pocket lover blows me away. I can seg into that to say I am blown away by your support on my channel. Thank you so very, very much to all of you. She even had her sweet, sugar, fresh, lemony fragrance when light levels were at their lowest. I am amazed. So happy to have received this orchid. She had a little bit of spider mite issue in 2022 and I was like, okay, how to get to know a new orchid fast. <laughs> she has not got spider mite issues anymore thanks to garlic alcohol and she is growing new growth out of the wazoo and finally she is rooting in. Her setup being small lava rock in self-watering. Now she is settling into my climate. Even though this little orchid bloomed for me now three times since she's been in my collection and it hasn't been that long. What a giver, absolutely love it. What I don't like is the fact I'm playing catch up, so forgive me, Jenny Sabriel C, Andrea Caron, Hormone Wholesale Market, and Debbie Lee. I do apologize for the catch up, but I would not want to miss dedicating these blooms to you because they really, really are worth their weight in gold during the darker time of year. Now, <laughs> doesn't mean that she's not going to bloom for us again during the best time of year. But for now, your names came up when this orchid started to produce buds. And I thought, we are not going to just skip this one by. Thank you for your support on my channel, Jenny Zabriela C, Andrea Caron, Hormone Wholesale Market, and Debbie Leedy. Okay. Anybody that is not mentioned for this dedication, sit back, 
because I have a lot of ground to cover when it comes to dedicating the blooms of my Colmenara Maasai Red. And I'm going to say it right now so I don't lose track of what I'm trying to say afterwards. Thank you to everybody that I'm naming right now for your support on my channel. I know that this can be lengthy and tedious for anybody that's not mentioned and you're hearing all these names, but for me it is such a blessing to get an orchid in bloom with so many blooms where I can cover a multitude of names in one go because, you know, I know orchids grow slow, we all know that, and yet I have a list, I have people to say thank you to. This is what I do on my channel, so thank you for everybody for your patience. I need to thank the following people. Mr. 8, 11FB13, Taboso Christopher Lay L, Jomaira, Toy Euler, Tang Huang Ho, Alina in the Kitchen, Shari Cochums, Landscape Style Design, Yurgita Bu, P. Morty, Macy Chung, Carrie Pratt, Deborah Blanchard, Holbitla, D. Mann, L.A., Little Orchids, Patricia Lux, Gautam Chetri, Diana Wilson, Rogerio Petroli, and Orchid Blast. So, you see what I did there? There's not that many names for this orchid even though it appears to be a long list. But this orchid has easily about 100 blooms and I could have gone with 50 names. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you how much I appreciate everybody that watches my Blooms For You videos. Let me just put that out there in and amongst with everybody that I've just named now. Thank you so, so much when you watch these videos. I understand they can be long-winded. Meanwhile, let's look at the blooms of my beautiful Masai Red, but I understand that these can be long-winded. I understand that maybe your name hasn't come up yet. Know that if you have commented or if you have subscribed on an account where I can see you, an account that isn't private, your name is on that list. It takes some time for me to get to you. I would love to go with 50 names, but I'm also trying to be considerate with this orchid when she is in bloom that there is a balance. So let me just say to everybody that was named right now, your support is so appreciated. It's been a long time coming. You've been on the list for a very long time getting to you now oh it is such a relief getting to you with my gorgeous colmenara must i read even bigger relief now i have footage as you're seeing that is when she was just coming into bloom and then it got really nasty and i couldn't get outside it was too windy nothing would focus so we have a little bit of a mix and match of footage that i could capture for this year's blooming in order to dedicate this orchid to all of you that i've just named let me tell you it was a pleasure to have her in bloom i wish i could have done this in real time it was just not possible so i hope that everything you're seeing pleases you <laughs> as it pleased me having her as i come in and out of the terrace and onto the patio having had her in bloom so i am going to name everybody again because that's what i do at least twice in a dedication in case you missed it mr eight 11FB13 Taboso Christopher Lay L, Jomaira, Toy Euler, Tang Huang Ho, Alina in the Kitchen, Shari Cochums, Landscape Style Design, Yurgita Bu, P. Morty, Macy Chung, Carrie Pratt, Deborah Blanchard, Holbitla, D. Mann, LA, Little Orchids, Patricia Lux, Gautam Chetri, Diana Wilson, Rogerio Petroli, and Orchid Blast. Thank you so, so much to all of you for your support on my channel. Hand hearts, hand on heart, 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 hearts to all of you. Know that I see you, know that I appreciate you, know that you being here means a lot to me. And that includes everybody that stayed to watch this dedication. Thank you so very much. I hope everybody is doing well in your part of the world. Colmenara Masai Red, the blooming of 2023 is dedicated to you. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Blooms for You. Everything a little bit cobbled together. Let me tell you something, the patio today is a beautiful 27 degrees Celsius. And of course, our favorite candidate, our favorite character, well, at least on my patio, is Cousin It, and he's ready for summer. So also hello from him. He probably is a little bit annoyed that he didn't get featured as much this year. The conditions were not 
favorable for doing any of that and it was just hold on hold on even after the mistakes i've made for him but he's got his beach gear on he is ready to go if you want any cousin it merchandise that is also in my shop this ensemble that cousin it is currently wearing is on none of the items but if you like it and you would like something with this ensemble that he's wearing on any item just let me know in the comments and i shall take care of it forthwith and then you can go to the shop and get your specified cousin it item whichever it is that you choose in the meantime i hope that if you were taking shots for every time i said thank you in this episode that you're still with me and if you are thank you very very much and i hope that you're feeling good <laughs> anyway once again my dendrobium berry odor uplifting orchid for the time of year that she blooms perfect match for an uplifting community of orchid aficionados that watch this video thank you so so much everybody for your support here thank you for watching I wish you a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.